far beyond probably my wildest dreams, you know. But that project's obviously riddled in controversy because of Quentin Miller, right? right? A lot of people feel like, well, he helped you with some songs and even to this credit, I feel like you're still battling these ghostwriting rumors and this type of thing that in some sense, some sense I think, does try to tarnish your legacy, whether it's effective or not. Like, does that, how does that album, how do you look back on that album and, and does that still take away anything from that album for you? Or how do you view it now when you look at it? No, I really have, you know, I've really made my peace. I have no embarrassment when it comes to what I did on that album, you know? I mean, I, I worked with somebody uh, on, I think four or five songs on that record. Uh, I pulled my weight when it came to my pen. It wasn't like I just, you know, I didn't, it wasn't like I needed somebody to facilitate, you know, entire ideas. We worked together. Um, and if I need to be the poster child that took all those hits for all my peers hiding behind me that do the same thing every fucking album, that's fine, I'll do it. You know, because there's a lot of people that link up with other people and make records that you guys love, right. you know? And that's kind of how mu music is a collaborative thing, you know? It's, it's, and I understand in rap, of course, in your comment section, it's a little different because th we, we conduct ourselves, and I still associate myself in that community, we conduct ourselves by a few different rules. We tweak the rules a little bit in the sense that- If it's a you, look, it's okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, Dang, there's things like man. that, you know, but, you know, with that being said, like, you know, I, I, anybody that knows me knows that my strongest talent is writing. That is my strongest talent. I'm not a great singer. Uh, I'm a great, I'm a good performer. I've grown into a great performer. Mm -hmm. um, but my greatest talent is writing, you know, and that's why people ask me to write songs for them. That's why people mm -hmm. like to get in the room and write with me. And yeah, I want to just encourage anybody like, look, if it makes a great song, and you're the one that's voicing it, but it's you and this other person that's cooking it up. You're, you're not doing anything wrong, you know? And that's like a, just, again, for me speaking to any new artist, like don't let anybody tell you that you're not supposed to collaborate on you. you that's, that's what this is for. We should, you know, whatever, whatever gets you to that destination where you have, you know, a great body of work. If you need somebody to write the whole thing and all you do is just go in and track it, there's still artists that, that exist like that to this day yeah. that people love and revere and they sell out stadiums. You're that's not you, though. They that's not me, no. I've wrote all, by the way, all my biggest songs and any song that really, really did damage for me, mm -hmm. I've wrote every single lyric. So that like the hits, yeah. Not even not the, the hits and the ones that you would like. It's like yeah, I, I never. I'm I'm not gonna collaborate with somebody on any of the timestamp records. I'm not collaborating. <laughs> I'm not collaborating with anybody on you know uh, Marvin's room or you know like yeah. mm -hmm. the the R and B records that are you know other than me and Party. Like I love working with but Party. I think when you say the timestamp records, that is like the MC, like the, the bars, the right? Yeah. Those are like, so I think the idea was like try to discredit you as an MC that, that all of that doesn't come from your pen. Of course. You're saying that comes from your pen. But again, curated by the people who are ready to see the downfall of Drake. So yeah. again, just another another little like, let's try this angle. You know, it's it's yeah. really any like again, like I said, I've done studio yeah. sessions with people. I've s I'm I'm all when I collaborate with people, I always send the idea first. Yeah. You know, I'm the one that picks the beat and goes, yo, here, just Put a put a put a verse on this and take that for your album, yeah. your single, or whatever. You know, I put work in. People know me. I'm good for it. Yeah. You know, so that's why I'm never really stressed about like that narrative. It's cool. It's fun. Again, it's yeah. cool for like memes and people that want to laugh and all that dumb shit. But, but it's how do like, you feel in that moment of Meek sort of putting that out there and then everything goes crazy, right? A guy that was your friend, you know, things things get a little hectic with you guys at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, I think he was in a he was in a bad mental spot and um yeah he just made like a, a a decision to to go crazy you know it was uh if i remember correctly it was based on a show that i didn't show up for that was really was like the tipping tip of the iceberg i think uh we had we had a little miscommunication and he was under the impression that i had confirmed that i was pulling up to one of his shows and i think it was one maybe one in philly and um and i didn't and i didn't show up and you know my management or somebody reached out to say I wasn't coming. <clears throat> and I think, you know, that being coupled with whatever, you know, conversations were happening amongst him and his lady and, you know, him just kind of getting this idea, maybe I don't fuck with him or whatever, whatever. Um, and, you know, he'll tell you himself, he wasn't in the best mental spot at that time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think he just took a hard left. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, decided to just go for it and felt like he had that enough ammunition to maybe, you know, put a major dent in my armor or, or decapitate me, you know? And, um, and again, I, I'm, 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 really, uh, I'm really good at um, channeling those, those, that negativity and those pressures into pushing me to a next level where I just, I, I go into a, a calculated reactive space. Yeah. Charged up, back to back. You almost yeah. took a, the bully position. Like, where y'all at? Like, yeah, I mean, I just, <laughs> I just felt like, I just felt like, you know, in that moment, I was like, all right, well, if we're talking about music, let me just show you better than I can tweet you, you know, or better than I can right. text you. Let me, I'm just gonna show you what I'm about. Um, and I don't think, I, I, I don't think anybody really expected me to just jump out there and, and defend myself and go, and go first. And, and twice. And, 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 and second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, you know, Charged Up was, was, um, was, a, was a thing that, you know, I was just seeing. I was just seeing if it was real. I was just seeing if it was, because, you know, you never know how calculated someone's plan is. Maybe they've been sitting on the record for six months. They hated you all this time, mm. and, they, and they just want to fry you. Right. And so Charged Up was my way of being like, you know, is it real, or is this just like a sporadic, like, like outburst? You know, yeah, I just wanted to know if it was real, if it was a package, or if it was just like maybe like a mistake on his part, you know? And I started to realize that it was... Um, taking an adversarial yeah. stance in a sense. So. Yeah, 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 and then, um, and then, I had made the decision that I was gonna. Um, I had made the decision that I was gonna uh, go again.